I've probably had this crusty bottle of Calmart from Iwata for about seven years. It's, um, it's a mix of airbrush medium and a little bit of tackiness and to it I add some mica and on this particular version of what's in the bottle it's a pink hue and you can add ultra fine mica to airbrush medium solution and it turns out transparent and it's really pretty and we're going to use that as a base on this brand new ABS Trick Shad from Buca brand Bull Shad and myself. Let's paint something cool. <laughs> I am sitting in the studio at home. It's a Saturday, so this is a Saturday social session. And we're looking, for the first time, getting a close-up glimpse of this new ABS Trick Shad from Buca Brand and Bull Shad and myself. Now, you have probably seen a barrage of stuff come out of media from us. Um, this is the first look at a blank you guys are getting, and I'm about to add some Pearl Starship White to this just to the very top along the spine and I'm going to keep a really light hit going because we really for this particular pattern this is going to be like a ghost crappie and for the first time you're seeing the actual blank of this ABS trick shot. Mike has never released a glide bait to the public in the masses the way he has the baby bull shed baby bull gill and the line of stuff that we have out on the market today this is the first glide now we've done resin drops from the website for trick shads the trick shed has been out and one of the if not the most get bit double digits it's i mean this thing is just fire and mike's been working on this particular version of it in the design team with a design team for about two years um, we are partnered with GSM Outdoors on this, so you're going to see a lot of really cool stuff. Now I'm kind of moving through the colors. You've seen a leaf green over that white, that pearl starship white, and you can see almost like a neon coming off of that. Some of it's the lighting, but some of it's just the way it works out. It's a really pretty color green this leaf green and now we've got just a little hint of gold that I'm going to run just along and underneath the spine on the upper third of the body you can see how light I'm using this airbrush probably running around 10-15 psi just doing a real quick light hit because this is almost going to be a ghost color so the trick shad has been in production um, for a few months now and it's going to roll out to the public in the fall so we're looking hopefully November ish is what I'm thinking is gonna happen um, late November or I'm sorry late October early November is probably where we're at and we've gotten through the first 10 colors that's gonna come out on the first run which are really awesome colors I'm really happy with what we've painted what I've painted and the things that we're seeing from the production team now overseas and ah yeah I know it's mass-produced the cool thing about that is number one affordability no actually you know what I'm gonna take that back not affordability the, the, the number one thing about this bait is the functionality this thing swims like the original like its predecessor the resin which is not going away but we wanted to dial it back a little bit and bring out something that you guys would not only be able to use get bid on but something that's just super super affordable it's going to have a 39 dollars price point you can't go wrong with that it's a six inch glide bait it's got an extra tail in it and you can see that i'm just putting on a little bit of the uh the crappie in in a white crappie type of pattern i'm using these stencils from uh not insane but um anarchy model stencil uk from brian brian best overseas so this is just in a black and i'm showing you the colors on screen while i'm kind of talking through this but this is the first time that we've done this with a glide bait from bullshad swim baits and now partnered with gsm outdoors and the buca brand and just super excited about it i've been testing it um somebody mentioned on my facebook feed they're like this is the only bait you guys have been fishing and yeah for months and months and months and months and months 
this is all I've fished. I've fished this and I've fished the six inch resin version just to compare. So the swim is deadly. We have caught a ton of fish on these things. I'm so excited to bring this to you guys. And now, like what you're seeing today, are colors for consideration for the next, like if some of the stores are looking for exclusives and things like that. So um, they asked me to come up with a few different colorways, and this is one of them. I wanted to do a really cool detailed crappie. Um, and if you look at a, a whiter, like the white, not the black crappie, but the white crappie, they have a much lighter and, and almost washed out appearance on them. So we're keeping this super light, super ghosty, and mix in some colors that you wouldn't normally see me use, like the standard blacks and, and detail black magentas, although they are gonna come into play on this bait. But this is actually just like an olive drab, olive green that I showed you, which is also a mission color. I've, I've really been digging the mission paints lately. Liquitex Gold comes back into play because we're now gonna go over this just a little bit and just hit it a couple times just to mute down the black in it. And you can see instantly how that does that really, really well. You can still see the, the black drop behind it so that's how we're kind of building our depth in this pattern. And I talk about depth a lot because I really like, here's that detail black magenta, folks. Um, I really like to give you guys as realistic of a pattern as I know how to give you. And some people do it, I'm sure, way better than me. Um, I just kind of like to play around and see what I can get. But the more layers you put into this, the, the more lifelike it's going to be. And I'm just kind of giving a little bit of darkness to the eyes and then I'm going to go over the spine here just very lightly. And I'm going to come across this, the top of the spine. So we cannot wait to roll this thing out to you guys. We launched it at ICAST. You guys probably saw the, the Hey Welcome to ICAST 2024, the, the quick take that I did. And now this is, this is the traditional black, and it's a transparent black, so it's a little bit, well, obviously transparent is transparent, but black, it's almost impossible to say that black is a transparent color. It, it does give you a little bit less of that thick, kind of a black look, and I'm also spraying this super, super light. So you're going to see just just a little bit of detail come across the top of this. And now we're really starting to fold in that lifelike appearance. And I'm using a couple of different sizes here as well. I'm using a large scale and a smaller scale for this on the stenciling. So hopefully you're able to, to take away a few things out of this one. I hope you guys are having a good day. This is a hand cut stencil. I've been using this for the fins, the peck fins right here, for uh, probably three or four years with Bullshed Swim Baits. All of his peck fins on his newer CAD designed, like the, the HD he calls them, um, they're, they're much more aligned, so it's easier for me to make a cut stencil from that which is what I've done here. I'm just going to do a real, real light touch of that yellow you saw me pull out here. I think it's just the transparent bright yellow. Just going to lightly touch those, uh, those pec fins. And this, I think I actually cut this stencil for an 8 inch, one of his 8 inch glides, but they're all the same shape so I can still lock in the smaller ones with the same stencil and get away with that. I just have to be very careful not to overspray. And then just place it in. And that's it. Now I'm going to come over that with a darker color just to get the, the edges, like the, yep, just a black. Um, just to get the edges of this pec fin and kind of 
make them stand out a little bit just like that the one thing that's really neat if you can see the way the lights playing with that I hopefully if it's on your phone I don't know how much you're gonna get out of it but you're actually watching it on TV you can want you can do that too YouTube you can bring it up full screen which is kind of neat um, but these are meant just to be kind of like on your phone if you're using your phone um, you don't have to turn it to a landscape you can use this in portrait and still get a pretty decent hopefully detailed enough lesson for you guys to follow along with and uh, I really kind of want to put some stuff on the throat here um, I want to kind of give a bruised or distressed look right in the throat and maybe on the tip of the tail and this is something that I've put together myself it is a burgundy red with um, some pearl mica some white pearl mica just a tiny bit and real low pressure so hopefully all of you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are whatever time of day it is wherever you guys are on the planet and just just a little bit underneath the gill plates just to kind of give that bruised or you know how most gills on fish are actually red when they're breathing you can see it you might hear a puppy if you do my apologies it's probably a small yip that's Kaya in the background she's playing with Molly chocolate lab so we're making a lot of progress on this pattern we're gonna put some eyes in I am trying to figure out if I've done one more thing on this even though I shot this the other day um, nope we're doing the eyes there we go so we've got our super glue out like I didn't think I did anything along the spine because I want to keep that light um, but just wanted to add as much realism to this pattern as possible and I normally do like really dark like the darker green and the really intense contrasty um, lines and, and stencils for this but I wanted to kind of mute that on this one and give more of a washed out almost ghost type of crappie and there we have it folks ladies and gentlemen boys and girls kids of all ages yes we are going to do the tail so this tail slides in from the top down to this trick shad and I normally would not do this it's a plastic tail um, but for the crappie I'm going to um, it's probably the only one that I would clear coat the tail and it's gonna come off I mean this is this is not by any means a permanent like the paint is the paint is much more permanent on the body of the bait um, on a rubber tail yeah it's gonna come off but both crappie and trout have this type of speckle on their tail so just something you know you can do it and it's going to give a little bit more of a realistic look to it as you're swimming it for probably uh, until until the fish or the water knocks off the and you can you can always go back and pull the tail off do it again um, and you can you can re-up that as for the life of the tail um, the tails are pretty snug fitting but the the abs trick shed does come with an extra tail in the package so you're not only getting an awesome bait but you're getting an extra tail just in case you have a toothy critter come and uh, pull off part of the fin or whatnot there's always something weird that could happen in the water so we just want to make sure you guys have the best product possible I am convinced that you guys are gonna love this because I have been swimming the mess out of it for months and months now um, as has Mike and uh, a lot of our, our pro product testers and the guys at GSM we're just super excited about this bait and super excited to bring it out to you guys and this is the first one that I have been uh, been able to show you guys uh, all the way through on a spray session and it's not one of the original colors just because I wanted to give you guys something special because it has been a long time coming for this bait and it's consumed so much of my time in a really good way but I'm just super happy to be back doing videos I'm super happy to be talking to you guys and uh, gosh thanks so much for sticking with this channel for so many years hopefully I can keep on teaching you guys how to paint or you get some kind of value out of what we're talking about 
and I'm really, really, really happy that we're having a chance to sit down and talk, see all your smiling faces today. So have a great rest of your day. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.